Welcome everyone. Today we're going to check out Anonymous Hacker Simulator. This is the playtest version. To gain entry into our collective, you must demonstrate your proficiency through various gigs and ascend the ranks. Now consider this your warm-up challenge. Do you think you have what it takes to hack your neighbor's Wi-Fi? I hope you enjoy it. Sit back and have fun. And uh, you can even use this as a playthrough if you like. So we're going to do our first gig. All right. Close that. And we fire up the terminal. First things first, we got to access my neighbor's connection or uh, Wi-Fi with arrow dump. So let's type that in. If you press tab and tab again, it'll give you the channel. So we're going to do arrow run now. Tab channel one, as you can see here. And then we're going to fill out his BSS ID by pressing tab and then control V and enter. Uh, next thing, last but not least, we're going to do arrow play. Grab the same Mac address. We're going to deauthorize every part of the broadcast. And then finally, we're going to do arrow crack. Copy this entirely over and paste it here. And you're done. You hack your uh, neighbor's Wi-Fi. with your next objective, you will need to acquire additional software. Navigate to the underground web and launch Hackify to purchase Nmap and Metasploit. Launch Hackify and we need Nmap, a network exploration and security auditing tool. Scans networks to discover hosts, services, and vulnerabilities. And then we're going to need uh, password cracking. No, pa penetration test. We're going to need the harvester as well, right? Oh, made a sploit. There we go. I think we're ready to go. So now we press X and E. Disconnect out of everything. We do have 2% heat on us, so we have to be aware. Be careful that we don't overdo it. So we got Nmap and Metasploit. And we're heading over to the downtown area. And we're going to pick on the microphone here, the megaphone. Attention. Tell this the, is a public uh, announcement. across the street. The to party shut on off this rooftop music. needs to come to an end. Please turn off the music and disperse peacefully. Oh, look. Who's playing Rooftop Cop now? Rooftop sure Cop. I'm a right hacker, party, but. Grandpa? I don't know what I, I would be doing up here. I said, turn off the music and end the party now. Sorry, mate, I can't hear you over the groove. Let's pump up the volume and make this night epic. Right, so. This box is worthless. It's the S400. I don't know what that is. But we have to jump into the laptop. Get the mission started. Operation Soundwave. We have a moral alignment where we are either uh, neutral 
uh, white hat hackers or black hat hackers, depending on what we do and how we uh, how we take our decisions, our choices as we're hacking various objectives. Right, so we close this. We have everything on the right hand side. And we need to locate a nearby power switch, inject ID, circuit control E. So let's do that. Let's copy this. Let's go into terminal. And we're going to inject tab one, tab. Control V. Injection procedure has commenced. Circuit control EXE has been cloned and saved in malware directory. All right. Uh, next thing is we're going to run Nmap on this IP. So I'm going to copy paste this. And click on Nmap here. Tab, Control V. Uh, this system is most likely to be vulnerable with FTP bounce attack. We already have that, I think. Let me just check. We're going to go over to Launch Hackify and Systems. No, it's not here. Not here. Oh, so I have to purchase it. So we need the 1.00. So we'll get that one. Close this down again, because it takes up too much room. And we'll press use. Tab, control V. All we need is the title here, so we'll cancel this out. And then tab again, version. So now we need the version number. And now we cancel the title. Tab again. And we'll do the same IP that we did earlier. Copy. Paste. Press enter. All right, during your hacking endeavors, you might stumble upon personal credit card details and linked accounts staged on other compu computers. Exploit the valuable information to your advantage, trading and confiscating their possessions in infamous underground web hackify platform. Selling their accounts may not raise any red flags, but handling credit cards can significantly uh, engage, increase your heat, depending on the amount and method you choose. Make sure to thoroughly explore every directory in the hacked computer for available information. To upload files or malware to the target device, first select the file you wish to upload using the upload menu. Next, type the command upload to initiate the upload sequence. So what we want to do is, as it shows here, delete the file name DJ Broadcast MP3. So let's delete that. That's done. And then check info and we get this and this account. So we downloaded those. Now we're going to upload our file which is called, sorry, not the file, uh, our upload, which is called DJ Animals MP3. So what we're sending him is animal sounds instead of music. He can't play from his music library right now. And how do we do that? Now we go back to this window, press upload, and enter. Since we already got the info here, it's uploading it. Our heat is going up, as you can see. We have to be careful not to reach 
And you do get an achievement if you do anything over, if you hack anybody over 80%, by the way. All right, so let's disconnect. We get 300 for this gig completion. Now we're going to exit the computer. Actually, we can do a bit of... Uh, credit card shifting. So where was that file we had? Uh, files, credit card info. Let's take that. Copy. Paste. Paste that as well. And then 453. And Shadow Shift is the most expensive and most damaging. And everything under it goes down by one grade. So if you check query credit card account, you risk another 5% heat, but you get $45. If you scroll down to coin convert and you click, uh, check this one, it goes down by four, and so on and so forth. This one goes down by three, stealth swap goes down by two, but you only get $35, as you can see. And secure exchange is the lowest, uh, but you only get one heat, but 27. Point five dollars. So I'm going to do that one. So that info is done. I can delete this file. And then we can switch his account. Let's add the info. DJ Party. Copy. And then Music. So we check the account and we see that it's a Spotify. We get $20 for that. So let's sell the account and delete this file as well. We got an extra $20 and we're done with that. Let's see what happened when we go back outside. So we're going to exit the laptop, close up everything. And look at that. What the hell is going on? Where That's is my music? Animal noises. Shut it down. Party is over. You also get an achievement if you manage to turn off the lights. Good. That will teach me Use the laptop. The I don't. I don't know how to do that. To there that is a way of hacking into his PC again. So we're gonna use uh, the same thing. And map. I think I still have his IP. No, it's DJ Party. Uh, what was his IP? I can't remember. Hmm. So we could do arrow dump. Enter. Okay, so there's no Wi-Fi anywhere around. So we'll just leave for now. And if you check the underground web and click on alert status, you can actually see upgrades here on the left, which will uh, lower your heat. And in real time, the, the heat gets lowered just by passing time. But you can get it sped up from uh, 0 0.1 drain rate to 0 0.5 if you acquire but you need three cipher credits I only have one and you can do an ident identity change reduces anonymity factor by three uh, anonymity factor is at eight right now it's gonna go down to one maybe or three by the time I get to uh, zero percent but I do want to get this one. This one drains uh, drains my anonymity much faster. 
determines the rate at which your anonymity factor decreases over time. The anonymity drain rate slowly reduces your anonymity factor per interval. Uh, what do the other ones do? Represents your ability to remain anonymous and evade detection. The lower your anonymity factor is, the better you can conceal your identity and activities. Penalty threshold. This is also something you can acquire. What does that do? Sets the minimum level to which your anonymity factor can decrease over time. Once your anonymity factor reaches the penalty threshold, the anonymity drain will no longer lower it further. And then you get a collective standing, uh, 10%, uh, sorry, 10 grade. So that's the highest grade you can have. Uh, if you mess up things, it'll actually lower. Like if you go to 100% uh, heat, for example, and you get uh, caught doing uh, something, uh, hacking someone, uh, you actually go down a grade. So you go down to 9, and there's a penalty. Every time you do uh, something at over 80% and you get caught, and it goes down up to 100 heat, uh, you actually get lowered. So uh, it says, determines your position within the anonymous collective. Whenever your heat exceeds 80%, your standing will decrease by a point. This crucial factor significantly influences the end game. So if you do your end game and you're still at 10, that means you're a master hacker. You get an achievement. Moral alignment. We're at neutral right now. Represents the moral standing of your character throughout the game. Your decisions and actions will shape your character's moral standing, showing whether you're leaning towards the path of good or bad. White hat or black hat hacker, in other words. And uh, performance shows us what we've done already. We've stolen one credit card, seized one account. We've earned $647 so far, but we had to buy a few things. Completed gigs with 80% heat. That is what I'm talking about. Gigs with uh, heat level surpassing 70% awards. An enticing bonus reward of 30%. I, this is a, a mistake. It says 80 on the left and 70 on the right. I think it's 80 and 80 that it's supposed to show. Uh, it shows the right one in the uh, full game, though. Breach score. Represents the number of impenetrable... Impre impenetrable impenetrable <laughs> system you have successfully breached wow all right and wallet virtual currency that's pretty much it and these are the completed gigs we've done so far so let's exit there's also a news board and what we did today well tonight shows up in the announcements a late night party in downtown turned into an extraordinary spectacle as the dj's vibrant tune suddenly morphed into a chorus of animal noises we will them and spread through the crowd leading to booze and, and jeers directed at the dj for his unfortunate blunder in response to the crowd's disapproval the dj decided to leave abruptly ending the celebration authorities received numerous complaints about the loud and prolonged party, further fueling public dissatisfaction. The incident prompted discussions about the importance of better event management and respect for the community during late night gatherings. Right, so we even completed the optional course. Oh, just to get a bit more money. And then there's different announcements, uh, news announcements that we might as well take a look at now. White Hat Hacker shot after government exposes sparks. This is going to be part of our uh, objectives, one of our missions later. Open GPT CEO Richard. What's his name? Just Richard? No last name, no first name? Could be his first name, could be his last name. In other words, he's a dick. All right, and then we have that. We saw that one. Island rich, Island's rich history awaiting new owner with registration license. Uh-oh. Hmm. I wonder if it's Epstein. 
Uh, Colombian officials bust major drug trade operation as key suspect evades capture. Ooh. Maybe we can get the drugs if we hack. Maybe we'll get mega cash if we discover that one. Then you have Marketplace, where you can actually buy stuff for your apartment. You can get housing. For 30 grand, you can get a medium apartment or a luxury villa for 10 million. Uh, you have to progress through the story to unlock these, though. Then you get different background decorations, if you want, for your PC. As you can see, they go up and you can't get to the next one unless you unlock the first one. Let me try that. So we're rank one, then you need rank three to be able to unlock the next one. Right, how do we add the wallpaper though? That is a good question. Here, wall variety. Unlock more wallpapers for marketplace decoration. Oh, look at that. That looks good. Let's see it. Close up everything. Nice. I like this wallpaper so far. Leave your current location and return home. Uh, let's save the game. You cannot save if you're outside your apartment. That's good to know. And then you got Go Mail. This is uh, Gmail, apparently. This is Twitter. We're going to need all these. And then you can get different music tracks in the shop as well. All right, guys, got a bit of a sinus problem. All right, exit by pressing E, and we're going to go back to our apartment and save the game. I thought maybe I could switch off the power line to the lights from that power board there, but we'll figure it out. New gig is available. All right. Back to the PC, have some pizza. So, underground web, next objective is Grades of Chaos. Hack it to Austin University and proceed to manipulate students' grades, causing chaos and mayhem across the campus. All right, so search for Austin University on Twitter. We're going to copy that. Add it here. All right, so this is the email we need. Copy. Uh, sign into my GoMail account. Just click on that for now. When composing an email, you'll need to learn more about each recipient and their preferences. For instance, you might select the gaming category for gamers, the meeting category for employees, and the report category for higher level employees. Okay, so we're gonna compose. A message will add his email the subject is going to be meeting from what I know and the attack we're going to use is data manipulation so we'll send that and we're going to expect the a, a response very soon I know it's meeting because it's just an employee it's not a higher end employee okay so post attack we got the information we needed. He sent us two replies. Attachment, Austin grades, all full of A's. Grades will be published once they are sent to registrar department. Let's download this file and then download the second file. Second file is a lot worse. Uh, it gives everybody an F, which causes a huge disturbance in uh, Austin University and it's probably going to give us an achievement if we uh, if we uh, publish the second one. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Uh, select a suitable subject and utilize data manipulation. I did that. Await results. We got that. Open the email containing the results and download the files. We've done that and now we send whichever file we want we're going to use terminal we're going to do send 
tab and we need the name of the file. So what I do is I press file browser and I go into files and this one is the one with the F's and this one is the one with the A's. So let's do F's. See if all their grades have been lowered with this hack. So we're going to use this one by copying the title. The file name, control V, and then tab, and then copy university, Austin University dot edu. We'll copy that, send that over there. There we go, we sent the file. Hopefully we'll get an achievement. Seems like you've got the hang of it. There are more gigs away. We got two hundred dollars more. And you'll soon be ready for your first major I think the achievements are locked for the full version of the game, not for the playtest. We'll see. Alright, so uh, we're up at 14% heat. Uh, what do I do next? Navigate to Underground Web. And select... Oh, three side gigs have opened. We don't have a main gig right now. So we have to slowly, maturely complete each of these side gigs first. Alright, search the internet for CEO of Ballon, Balloon the Floor. So his name is Etienne Dubois. So we're going to use Harvester. We don't have Harvester. We have to purchase it first. And I think it's password cracking. No, penetration test. There it is. So we're going to spend $200 on this new tool. And this is one of the best tools out there right now. So we'll go back into Terminal. Uh, start with... A Three letters, Harvester, press tab, control V, Etienne Dubois. You always have to have an underscore uh, in between the name. Unless it's a title of a company. If it's two words, you put an underscore in between. So that's searching. It should give us an IP address. There we go. We have three IP addresses, but we have to find the one that is uh, matching exactly what we're looking for. Um, how can you tell what you're looking for? Let me show you in Underground Web. So the first one says, gain access to Balloon the Floor Awards magazine and disclose the recipient of the Best Player Award. So which of these three gives us an idea of uh, who the best player is. This one says, just caught the latest match. What a showdown. These athletes continue to amaze with their dedication and skill. The next one says, we've revamped our digital platform to offer an even more immersive experience from in-depth player profiles to interactive quizzes. So in-depth player profiles could be the one that has the uh, top player list in it. Uh, this one says, visited an art exhibit and marveled at how artists convey emotions through their work, much like athletes expressing themselves on the pitch. Creative Creativity knows no bounds. So I think this is the one that we need. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to do Nmap, Tab, Control v and press Enter. And there it is. Otherwise, it would have showed uh, no IP found. So we found uh, an exploit, and we can use Eternal Blue 101. So I'm going to copy this. Now we go to Launch Hackify, and we have to buy the new Eternal Blue 101. So this is the one we want. Got that. Let's close everything, and then press Use, Tab. Control V, we want Eternal Blue. Tab, version, Control V again. We cancel out the title. And then the IP. That's tab, so it says IP. 
and we're going to copy paste the exact IP over here and then press enter download the file containing the rankings of the players there it is it's not this one this is not the one that is strategies we don't need this one we need classified uh, top players rankings here we are so we know Cristiano Ronaldo got 756 points and he's the top player Lionel Messi 730 points so on and so forth Neymar Mbappé uh, Lewandowski <laughs> and so on and so forth you get the ideas so we're gonna download this file and what else is in here credit card info let's add that actually let's hack it right now uh, actually we're in there so let's get out of here as soon as possible because uh, our heat is going up so we're going to use notepad paste keep that info there we'll close this we don't have to upload anything to them upload the acquired file okay so we're going to Send the file to uh, Talk Football News. We're going to leak that file. So we disconnected. Okay, let me launch Hackify and do the credit card first. Credit card info. We got that on our notepad. So we copy this. Send that over there. I wish these windows were smaller. Um, do that again I'm gonna select the lowest denominator so we're gonna use the smallest that way we don't get too much heat up our butts all right let's transfer that we only get one heat over that so oh it went up to 22 I wonder why I don't know how that works. It was only supposed to go up one. Uh, anyways, we've done that. And then there's no account to hack, so we can get out of that now. So we close this up. And now we have to hack. Uh, sorry, send the, uh, send the info. I forgot to do that. Award expose. There we go. And uh, talk football news. So, we're going to use the terminal. Type send file name. It's in our file browser. And it should be this one. So, we're going to grab the whole title. V tab again and we're gonna copy this right down here on the right hand side make sure we add no spaces control V click on enter sending it to the host totally killing it right now we did that We're back up to 470. Let's see what happens now. There it is. Breaking news. A prestigious Ballon de Fleur, or Ballon de Fleur, results have been leaked online, revealing the top 10 players and their points. Cristiano Ronaldo claims a top spot with an impressive 756 points, followed closely by Messi with 730 points. The league has ignited debates and anticipation for the official ceremony where the winner will be crowned. Stay tuned for updates as the football world buzzes with excitement. So that's what our league did. But we're up to 23% heat, which is slowly going to go down. If I try and rush through this, guys, it's really going to give me a hard time. 
if I go anywhere up to 80%. All right, next one. CPU shutdown, infiltrate Intel's main server, which is hosting the presentation for their highly anticipated 18th generation of CPUs. Upload a virus and execute a shutdown to cause significant delay in the announcement. All right. Compile the source using Cook. So we need Corruptor EXE. So we have to, we'll have to buy that. And that would be in Malicious Attacks? No. Malware? Yep, there it is. Corruptor EXE. So we'll buy that. And then we go to Terminal. Cook. And we'll just copy-paste it. Uh... Where is it? Corruptor.exe. There we go. We'll just do Corruptor. Control V. Oh, it has to be exe. Okay, so we'll do cook. Tab control V dot exe. How about now? There we go. That's cooking. Corruptor XE will be cloned and applied. Please wait for a while. All right, so while that's running, our next objective is to actually search for Randy port. So we're going to do Harvester. I think I already have Harvester. Let me check. Did I buy it already? Launch Hackify... Uh, it's password cracking. No, penetration test. Harvester. Yeah, we already bought that. So, what I want to do is click on Harvester. And then type the first full name, Randy Port. And then we're going to do Harvester with Patrick Simmons again. Right, so we get a bit of info here. <laughs> Extra info found. Yo, peep, this we got uh, 411 on Randy Port's crew and their digital hustle. This ain't no regular leak. We're talking logs, entry times, and even the tech they were rocking. Check out the scoop. City Convention Center. Uh, Five million bigwigs. Intel Corporation. Well, Intel, whatever. Anvil, the eight. 17th gen Intel CPU. Randy Port, Austin Smith, Mark Davis, late night shenanigans, and three points. So we get Stellar Nova, Quantum Cipher, Saturn Laptop, Astral Pulse, Nebula Spectrum, Celestial Link, Solar Flare, Galactic Oracle, Infinite Serpent, Zenith Horizon, and then it says, looks like Randy and the squad have been sliding through different spots with different gear. And yeah, we got the deets on each one, names, IPs, and all that jazz. So we have to find something similar from one of these in the next guy's uh, credentials. So we're going to do Harvester again. This time we do Patrick Simmons. Actually, I should have done underscore. Oh, it did do underscore. Okay. And now we're going to find whatever similar and connect the two and see which one, which IP we're going to use. So Mars Tower. We get Mars Tower, Jupiter Desktop, Venus Notebook, Uranus Workstation, Earth Server, Ceres Terminal, Eris System, Homia Console, Saturn Laptop. Hmm. I think I saw that one before. Uh, make make device. Got the scoop on Patrick and his posse hitting up on various part. Keep them peepers peeled. The rabbit holes just getting deeper. So if we scroll back up to Randy Port, we see that the only one that matches is Saturn laptop. Everything else is different. We're going to grab the IP from Saturn Laptop, which is the 
that and we're going to do nmap equal v and there we go we're going to use dns query uh 101 so we have to buy that let's go to underground web launch hackify and dns 101 buy that close everything down and now we're going to use this exploit tab control v again just the title tab again control v and now just the version number tab again and we need the ip which is this right here Control V, press enter. And now we have to upload Corruptor EXE, the one we cooked earlier, if you guys remember. Uh, delete the file named Intel's announcement. Let's see what it is first. Intel's 18th gen CPUs unveiling. Unmatched performance, quantum leap and computing power, lightning fast application response time, smooth multitasking for professional workloads, enhanced efficiency, compatibility, and so on and so forth. So we're going to delete this. And now we have to upload. Oh, dang. Did I just get out? I just got out. So I'm going to do this again. Give me a second. Should not have clicked that. I still have to send the uh, Corruptor EXE. So we'll do that again. Our heat is going up now. And then we're going to do malware Corruptor.exe. And then go back to this window and press upload. Do that real quick and get the heck out of there. We have 84 seconds before we start getting more heat on us. There we go. We got 100 for that. Objective is complete. But we're at 29% heat. That's the highest we've been so far. And now we have one more. Fish link extraction. Let's see what this one's about. Compile the source file of credential harvester Ma malware. All right, so we have to cook that as well. So first things first. Close this. Go back. Launch Hackify. And we need credential harvester where is that malicious attacks there it is use for stealthy extraction of sensitive credentials deploy sophisticated techniques to lure unsuspecting users into revealing their login credentials excellent after purchasing a malware and attack they will not appear on your device unless you cook them using the set to now might be the time to dig deeper. All right. So what we need to do is start cooking this file. Cook. Tab. Control V. I think it's going to need dot. E oh, no, it's not. A okay. It should work. There we go. We're getting that cooked. Now it says search tweeter for Tom the Tat Dude. And that would be Tim the Tat Man. <laughs> for all of you that don't know who he is. He's a gamer, a streamer on Twitter, I think. If he's still on Twitter. But let's search tweeter. And let's, let's see what this guy's about. Yeah, this guy's definitely a gamer. We got that. 
So we want to hack. We want to send them an, a nice email. So we'll go to Go Mail, sign into our email, and then compose, add his email address. And the subject is going to be gaming, of course. And our attack is going to be Credential Harvester. Get all the info we can on this guy. He's not going to see that, of course. But it will send us back all his beautiful info in just a few seconds. There it is. So, we got info. Collected credentials. Let's copy this. Add it to notepad. Okay, so we don't forget. Let's log off. And now we're going to sign in with his, his credentials, which is going to be on the tat man, the tat dude, whatever you want to call him. It's Tim the Tat Man again. Copy, paste, and we'll log in with his account on GoMail. And we'll look at his emails. So we can close Notepad now. All right, gaming giveaway from Ep Epic Llamas. All right, that doesn't give us any info. It's just a giveaway that they send them to take advantage of. Password reset request. This is what we need. So we'll copy all this info. This is definitely what we need. We'll go to Notepad again. Copy that info down. We're going to need this. All right. Uh, and then we have exclusive partnership opportunity with Tesla. Huh. Interesting. All right, so we did that. Utilize the obtained login information to access targeted Go Mail. We did that. List Epic Llama's account for sale on underground.web. So let's close all this info. Keep this open, but we're going to go to underground web, launch Hackify accounts. We're going to add this info in. Copy, and we're going to destroy him by selling his account. Very account, Epic Llamas or Epic Lames. Uh, sell account. Let's do that. Congratulations on completing those gigs. He's the count transfer. hundred. We have a situation Completion. and we're at 30 percent the heat is going up determined to expose a hidden truth the government has been concealing from the world unfortunately before he could reveal anything he was shot and look at that we got a new post in the news stream of tim tom the tad dude's epic lames account uh stolen in cyber attack and there's all the info so that's done. Let's see. Do we have... Oh, we have a main gig now. Unveiling the veil. I need you to backtrack Edward Oliver's movements leading up to the shooting. Dig deep. Follow the digital breadcrumbs. Oh, this is the white hacker that got shot. ...that could shed light on who might have targeted him. We need to find out why he was silenced and bring those responsible to justice. The Dang. truth must prevail. Edward Oliver... Copy. How are we going to do this now? Search Twitter for information about a high-profile pro individual named Edward Oliver. All right, let's type his name in here. Right. Uh, we have to find out the last location he visited before being shot. Uh, nothing in here. Just scored an exclusive invite to CryptoCon. Haha. -ha. This could be it. Copy. So, 
We found that it's Crypticon, so can we harvest Harvester? Do Crypticon. Let's see if that'll bring us anything. Which one is missing? Open GBT. We did that one. Oh, it's probably this one. No, that's done. Ah, there it is. So this was the uh, GPU announcement earlier that we cracked Intel. Right, so we found an IP just from doing a uh, CryptoCon. So right now we want to do that. Nmap tab and use this IP to find out what we can. So it needs RDP Brute Force 101. So we have to buy that from our Hackify. Uh, RDP, which one is it? RDP 101. Purchase. It was 101, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to use this tab, control V, just the title, tab again. And then we want the version number, version 101, tab again, grab this IP, paste that there, and we're going to brute force into that IP search for evidence all right so what's this one crypto master no acquisition regarding the obstacle huh this one doesn't give us enough evidence so this is not the file we're looking for how about this one it appears uh -huh. evidence that Edward Oliver Here we go. Edward Oliver. Moreover, the identity of this enigmatic figure, Serpent King, raises numerous questions. There is a complex web to untangle, but you must ensure the delivery of this incriminating evidence to the media. Yep. We're going to apparently send this to uh, moonnews.com. So we downloaded the file. Might as well exit. Type send, tab, file name. So what we do is go to our file br browser and look at the title. Copy that. Control V and copy moonnews.com over on the right hand side. Control V, boom. We have leads on a few facilities that nice. could be connected to Serpent King. However, it's late now. We'll have to wait until morning to pursue further. And our heat is up to 38%. And sleeping will not bring it down, guys. Just so you know. So even though we have to exit right now, let's exit the PC and actually do what the uh, game is asking us to do. Even though we're sleeping, we're still going to be at 38%. The only way you can bring it down is through the upgrades that I showed you earlier. Access Bank server room. They are currently experiencing power issues, causing service disruptions. We have intel that they are anticipating a maintenance team to resolve the power issue today. You will assume the identity of the fire technician and enter the bank. From mm -hmm. there, upload the malware to trigger a firmware anomaly, shutting down the firewall. Nice. The objective is to make them perceive it as a power-related issue, avoiding any suspicion of a cyber attack. Interesting. Right, so Anonymous Hacker Group uncovers. This is the latest one we did. Enigmatic Anonymous Hacking Group uncovers a perplexing connection surrounding the shooting of white hack hacker Oliver at CryptoCon. Oliver, a voice advocate 
A vocal advocate for exposing government lies was targeted during the event while seeking to reveal hidden truths. And it just brings everything out into the uh, into the forefront. Everything just exposed. Awesome. Right. So our next objective is cyber espionage. Infiltrate Access Bank has disguised fire to Christian gain more access to, through a drop phone and execute a firmware anomaly to access the database covertly. Conceal the true nature of the attack by making it appear, appear as a power surge. So we're going to need Alex Surge malware, number one. So let's go to uh, Hackify and Alex Surge. Which one is that? Where is it? There it is. $150. We'll buy that. We're still at 35%, guys. So let's check our alerts real quick. How do we get back to uh, network? I want to go back to Hackify. I guess I'm going to have to close it down. Fire it up again. There we go. Alerts. And we have three points now. We have three cipher credit points. So we're going to do spoofing operations. I'm going to bring down our heat much faster by 0.6% right now. So it's going to be going down a lot quicker than it was earlier. We're going to spend some time on that. We have zero points now. 705 currency and we're cyber cipher rank three. That is awesome. Look how fast it's going down now, guys. Moral alignment shows us indifferent or neutral. Okay. Let's quickly save our progress by clicking on save game is saved awesome all right so we need to search engines with harvester so i'm going to grab this whole file title i'm going to copy it enter the terminal and press harvester so we're looking for this file anywhere on the internet checking the World Wide web for that file. Somebody must have it. It's a PDF file. And there we go. We found it. And we have a MAC address. I don't know what that's going to help with. Let's see. Integrate the newly discovered MAC address into the source file elect surge command inject. Do we have to cook that? I don't think we cook it, right? I don't think we cook it. So we're going to use inject. Inject. The MAC address. Control V. Oh, no, 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 no. We need the MAC address. Sorry. Copy that. Yeah, integrate the newly discovered MAC address into the source file, electsurge.exe. Control V. Press tab again and grab electsurge.exe. We'll copy that. Control V. No file found. Hmm. Could it be just a Lex surge? Let's try that. Let's try that. Copy. Control V. No file found. Ah, oh, maybe I'm supposed to cook. Maybe I'm supposed to cook it, guys.
Try that first. Yep, that was it. All right, so now we know that it's waiting. Elixir is running. And now we need, I think it was this one. Copy, Control V, try that. There it is. Interesting. So that got added. There we go. Our objectives just changed. Follow the instructions found in the ElectroGuard TXT file inside my files directory. So my files directory has a new file, apparently. There it is. ElectroGuard TXT sent by Anonymous. Ooh. ElectroGuard service email has been breached. Access GoMail for login. All right. So we'll just copy all this info copy we'll do that on our notepad just in case we kind of disconnect uh compose an email to contact and inform them of a fire tech inspector will arrive ahead of the maintenance team right so let's keep that closed we don't need this right now and we need go mail. Go mail. We'll put that on the side. And we're going to enter as the company, the fire technician company. Copy, paste, login. Power surge issue. All right. So the bank send us this email and we're going to send them back a response. So we copy this and we go to compose, paste, subject. It has to be other. We're writing to inform you of a modification to our inspection schedule. Please note that the fire attack uh, inspector will be arriving at your premises 9.40 a.m. ahead of the maintenance team schedule for 10 a.m. So I'm going to go in there 20 minutes earlier. Fire tech inspector will conduct the initial inspection and then they'll depart before the maintenance team's arrival. This adjustment aims to ensure a thorough examination of the electrical boards and timely resolution of any issues identified. If you have any questions or require further information, please do not hesitate to reach us. All right, so we're going to send that. I don't think we need an attack. We'll just send this email. And now it says, leave your apartment and head to Access Bank. So let's log off. And look at that, guys. We're at 2%. Look how fast it's going down. Just by getting that uh, upgrade. Incredible. We're at 1%. Let me just check our alerts. Look at that, 0.4, and we're at zero anonymity factor. So this spoofing operation that we acquired really, really helps get things down faster. So this is my number one recommendation to get for your game from the initial start. Right, let's leave the apartment. Let's press E, and then exit. Go to Access Bank. Oh, wow. Ah, you must be the fire technician they call. Oh, in. wow. Welcome. Uh, so we have the cleaner on this side. We have the automatic ATMs on this side. We have a dude who's waiting here for some reason. I don't know what. A Good security morning. guard here. Hey, dude. I don't know what that is, but we have to try and... Hello. Let me Head sign on in. Over to the left, and you'll find the room where you can do your inspection. Thank you, sir. Where is? Oh, there it is. Oh, nice area. I love these offices. Beautiful. Good. You made it there. That's where we have to go. Remote access to your laptop. 
And remember, stay within the room to not raise suspicion. Alright, so we're not going to leave this room. Uh, run and map on scan. IP address. Let's copy that. So, first things first, and map. Do I have to cook things? I don't think so. Tab, control V. Aha! SSL TLS 101, L100. So we launch Hackify. And we need SSL STLS 1. Got that. Close everything. And we'll use this exploit now. Control V. Tab. Control V. Version number. Boom. And then the IP. Copy. I mean, you've seen me do this so many times before. I'm pretty sure you guys get the hang of it now. Connect to the server. All right. Upload and inject elect surge to the server triggering a firmware anomaly that shuts down its firewall. So we're going to upload. Go to uploads. No, not that one. Malware. We need Elect Surge Injected, OE. That's the one we want. And then click Upload here. I think we should run out of the bank right after this. All hell's going to break loose. The firmware anomaly sequence has been initiated. Get out of here before they notice. Okay, let's exit as fast as possible. I mean, we're only at 3%. Everything in order, I suppose. Oh, damn. <laughs> Everything's cooking. <laughs> Nothing is working. Wow. The lights are smoking. Look at that. That's crazy. All right, we're out of here. We did our job. Their database has been compromised. Nice. It will take some time to piece things together and uncover what they were hiding. Currently, we have a situation involving former President Ronald Trump. Uh-oh. The sensitive documents he possesses within his laptop are highly problematic, particularly if someone else were to obtain them. We must take immediate action to ensure their deletion. All right, let's check uh, our alert status. So we got zero points for that. Zero credits. Huh. Interesting, but it's going down really fast. I love it. All right, secret obliteration. Uh, penetrate Ronald Grump's laptop and eradicate classified documents that pose a significant risk. Ensure they never fall into the wrong hands. All right, close this. And map scan on this IP address. We'll copy that. Go to terminal and map. Wait, that's not the IP address I wanted. Try that again. Tab, control V. That's the IP address. Eternal Blue 103. Let's copy that before we buy it. And we need Hackify. 103. So we'll buy this one. We're at $1,000, by the way. That's crazy. We're doing great. Close this down. And then we need to use this exploit. Colonel Blue. Tab. And erase title. Backspace. Tab. And then grab the IP. Copy. Paste. What? No IP found. Oh, I clicked it by mistake. Sorry, let me just do that again. Clicked hashtag by mistake. So copy, control V, 
Press it again. There we go. Use intruder command. Oh, we have to get the intruder command. So we have to get the burp attack. So we'll launch Hackify and buy burp. Which one is it? There it is. $200. Well, wow, so much for my $1,000, right? All right. We got the burp attack. Now we have to cook it, I think. Right? No, just intruder. Okay. So close that. Click on intruder. Tab. Control V. Uh, just the IP. Press enter. Whoops. All right, try that again. Intruder. Tab. IP. Well, I'll copy paste this. Oh, we need to do payload. I see. Control V. Payload zero. So tab zero. I think you could do zero, one, two, and three. You have a choice of which ones to use, but I'm going to use payload zero. Now we're going to download Vanguard underscore X one dot TXT. Send it to leaks.com. Right. I think I could use the, the exploit now. I wish there was a scroll bar here on the right hand side because this is going to be way too long with a mouse wheel. So where was it? Uh, external blue. I think it's this one. Let me copy this. Copy. So it's online, but we still have to enter it. So we'll Paste that. And there we go. So we get an email text. Oh, okay. Copy that. I think it's an account we can uh, close down. So we'll do notepad. Keep that for future reference. We're going to do that once we get done with this first. We don't want to stay in here too long. And this is the classified. This, we're going to have to download each file. All right, we got each file downloaded. Just to make sure. No, there we go. Check our file browser, make sure they're in there. Yep, they're all in there. And now we delete each one. It seems Elon Musk has been ignoring our recent messages regarding the safety of his workers and his power-hungry agenda. We need to take a little trip into his mobile device to give him a wake-up call. Uncovering some of his private secrets will be a good Kickstarter for him. Right, we can still send. So it's optional, but I think we can do uh, files. I think it was this one. Yeah, not the JPG. Send that. But I forgot what address we were supposed Oh, leaks.com. Okay. Copy. Tab, control V, control V, tab and leaks dot com. Will we get cash for it? Let's see, we're at 905. Let's see if that's going to work. Should get some extra money. Yep, we got $50. Nice. 
I knew it was leaks.com <clears throat> earlier because I saw it. Guys, sorry I didn't do that before. It was an optional quest. <clears throat> all right, so should we delete all these? I don't know if we need them again. Yeah, let's delete everything. I don't think we need any uh, extra files that could incriminate us. Although deleting them is not as good as... Uh, <clears throat> Formatting, formatting the hard disk, I think, would be the best way to go. All right, let's check out the news. Oh, look at that. Former President Ronald Grump faces investigation over alleged secret documents. Authorities have launched an investigation to former presidents uh, regarding undisclosed documents in his possession. The nature and contents of these documents have raised concern. <laughs> Talk about being in the news. Everything is happening in real time, too. In real life. Dang, it's his go mail. So we'll do one, two, three here. And then Grump at Grump Towers. How funny is that? Log in. There we go. Request for improved social media governance. Andre Oliver, Andrew Oliver, is that any relation to Edward Oliver? I wonder. Hope this message finds you as a longtime investor in your ventures. I'm waiting to express my deep concern regarding uh, the impact of your public tweets. Oh, well. Uh, who's this guy? What's this guy? John Eric. He's complaining about the same thing, apparently. Strongly urge you to consider your potential consequences of your words and your effect on our investments. Maintaining a professional and responsible public image is crucial. So they're both complaining, but we can't do anything. Let's go on to the next objective, which is... Disgrace Unleashed. Infiltrate Elon Musk's... <laughs> Elon Musk's mobile device by assuming the guise of an employee and... Em Employing deception tactics to trick Elon Musk, ultimately resulting in the release of their private photos. All right, first things first, let's compile Credential Harvester. So we're going to have to start cooking that on our terminal. So cook. And uh, we'll do Credential Harvester. I don't think I have to add .exe on there. Control V. Well, we have that clicking. Let's go sign into our Go Mail. Sign into my account. And I'm going to compose an email to the R&D department containing that exploit. So we're going to do uh, other, I'm guessing, or meeting? Maybe meeting, yeah. Meeting sounds good. Credential harvester. All right, that's the first thing we have to do. And then we have to await the results. Should get an email very soon. All right, we got all this added. So I'm going to copy Randy Tesla. And I'm going to sign into their account now. Let's just quickly add that to the uh, notepad just in case. So I'm going to log off there. And add this. Cut. And this. We're going to log in there. Perfect. We have one meeting. Uh, no reply. We need this one. All right, so we did that. We got the results. Sign into the acquired email address. So we're going to sign into this address now. Actually, I'm going to pretend 
compose a message to him. Right, so let's compose a message to Elon Musk. Obviously, it's going to be a report, I'm guessing. And we'll launch that. See if we get any results. We got a result, but I'm not seeing it here. So I'm guessing it's not in the tasks. It doesn't say whether I have to go into my email or not. But I'm guessing I have to log off and go into my email. And it should be there. There it is. All right, so we got the credential that we needed and an IP address. So let's copy all that. Again, in Notepad. Paste. And now we sign into his account, I think. Sign into the client, uh, search within the email and identify potential cookie values. Right, so what do we need now? Paste. Let's get rid of all this. We need to cut that and put that there. Log in. Boom, we're in. So employee recognition post attack sequence. I think this is the cookie. Check the rest of the emails. Staff at Tesla. I hope this email finds you. Investor meeting update. Oh, there's the cookie. Trying to figure this out. Cookie value. Connect. Tab. Control V. Aha! Found it. And now we have the compromised photos. I'm guessing. Oh, sexy Elon Musk JPD. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That's hot. Whoa! <laughs> oh, shit! We got it. Download it. All right. Yeah, that is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So we found the string. Okay. Uh, next, we send it to ElonMusk.com. So I need to copy this. Let's go to Terminal. Send. Let's expose Elon Musk. Control V. And it's going to ElonMusk.com. Ha ha. Goodbye, buddy. Start making better Teslas. That's my advice. We have completed the search through Axis Bank's database. Unfortunately, no valuable information regarding Serpent Nexus was found. Dang. However, we did come across a file named Drifter.zip, which many believe to be connected to an old forum named Drifter on the dark web. Ooh, so we're going to harvest Drifter. decrypting the file and uncovering its content. All right. Let's get Shadows of Power. Close that. Shadows of Power, NexoGuard. I don't have that, so let's go buy NexoGuard. Launch Hackify. Uh, mal malicious attacks or malware? Nexoguard. Here we go. It's a Trojan. $100. Take my money. Cool. We'll get that cooking. Real quick. On terminal. Cook. That. Nexoguard. Guard. 
All right. While that's getting cooked, generate a hash file to initiate the process of cracking. So we also need hash to John. All right, let's go purchase that as well. Launch Hackify hash to John. That would be John. Yeah, I think it's John purchase. I think this hash to John. And then the file zip would be drifter.zip. Let's grab the whole thing. Poppy. What an absolutely amazing game. Absolutely amazing. All right. We generated the hash to crack. Uh, crack to John now. So we'll copy this. I think. Crack. File H, file dot H. Oh, wait, it's Drifter. There it is. Copy that. We'll press tab here. Control V. Boom. Now what? Let's see. <clears throat> Guys, this game is coming out in just a few days. Uh, I absolutely recommend you get the uh, the full version on Steam. It's incredible. Right now, I'm on the play test, and uh, devs are helping me uh, sort it out with a few tasks that are missing. I am speaking with a dev as we speak, so... Uh, Cheers to them for providing such amazing, amazing support. Also, go check them out on Discord, guys. Uh, their link will be provided in this video. Just look in the description, and you will see their Discord page as well. So, we did that. Passwords, Drifter. All right, what, what? Read the list of people involved in the Drifter forums. Do I have that file in my files now? Oh, it is. There it is. This file is encrypted. Enter the password to gain access. Aha! Password cracked already. Enter. There we go. That was it. So it was in my files. All right. Utilize web search engines to gather information on the individual with an unusual transaction purpose. So we're going to do Harvester now with one of these names. All right, let's close this. Go to Harvester. Yeah, we found it. Harvester. Uh, now we have to select somebody that did an arranged by Serpent. Okay. Day 2020. Lucis Car Transport Service. Logistics Support. Custom Logistics Solution. Special Consultation Services from an Undisclosed Source. Hmm. I'm going to do George Wesley. I don't like him. Something's up with him. Something's fishy. Okay, so we'll do Harvester. George Wesley. Could it be him? Unusual transaction purpose. I mean, that seemed pretty shady. Oh, we found an IP. Copy and map. I think that was it. So V. Yes, Eternal Blue 102. Nice. Let's copy that. I think we found it, guys. Uh, we'll close that. We don't need that anymore. And we know we can get back to it. We don't need the Gmail or Go Mail. And right now we're going to go buy that service. I think it was, what was it called again? I 
Eternal Blue 102. Let's pick that up. Purchase that. Awesome. We can close down. Close that down. And then use. Control V. Eternal Blue. Oh, oh, oh. Tab. No, no, no. Let's try that again. Tab. Control V. Eternal Blue. Tab again. Control V. And the IP is 3567-3473. Guys, I really do feel like a hacker when I play this game. I know I'm not even close to being a hacker. But, yeah. Ooh, I think we got it, guys. Wait, wait, I'm not doing... Uh, yeah, we'll do 90 at plus 11. Transfer. That's $90. Oh, damn it. Yes, here we go. We still don't know much about Serpent Nexus, except that it operates as a logistics transport company. Awesome. However, this could merely be a cover for something deeper and hidden. Red Orbit has been launching an unusually high number of satellites recently. If our assumptions are correct, they are likely linked to this mass surveillance program. All right, so do we have anonymous warning wave file? I think we do have that. There it is. All right, so we have to send this. I'm not going to listen to it, but we have to send that out. Let's go. Copy. I'm going to send. Control V. No, no, no. Tab. Space. Tab. Control V. Tab. And then we'll do re -dor redorbit.com. Copy. Boom. Wait. There we go. That should work. This concludes the first chapter of the journey. You need to proceed to another location to continue along the path. Freaking awesome. Whoa, end of playtest. You completed the playtest on the first chapter. We got 36 grand, guys. Look at that. In the upcoming chapters, you'll explore new locations like the new apartment and villa. Uh, new features include DDoS attack, HTTP interception, honeypots, and more. The full game launches on April 3rd. Click below to wishlist it now on Steam. So there you go. Try out the playtest, guys. I hope I helped you with the uh, playthrough. Um, this uh, actual full game release I already own. But there were some bugs and I couldn't continue in it. Uh, the dev did help me out and told me I can bypass a few uh, objectives. But I'm going to tell you right now, stay tuned by subscribing. And you will be seeing the full game release on my channel. Uh, probably in a live stream or probably through a video multi-part episode. We'll see. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, of course. Uh, this is Jimmy Dali signing out again with all my hacking skills. He's <laughs> showing here. And uh, hopefully you'll become an awesome hacker too. Bye for now. See you next time.